Greetings, everyone. We hope this message finds you well and in good health. Firstly, we would like to express our heartfelt gratitude to each one of you for the tremendous response we received on our last Skyrim video. Your overwhelming support and appreciation truly meant a lot to us. As a token of our appreciation, we are thrilled to announce that we will be giving away a Skyrim Anniversary Edition Steam CD key to one lucky winner. The winner will be selected two weeks after the release of this video. To enter the giveaway, all you have to do is like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel. Since we are still small and growing, the chances of winning are quite high. So, take this opportunity to participate in our giveaway to win this exciting prize. We wish all participants the very best of luck. Thank you all once again for your amazing support and let's get into the video. As you go through Skyrim's Dawnguard DLC, your journey will take you to the enigmatic Soul Cairn. The sky above is dark, and the buildings that stretch into the distance appear to grasp for the heavens themselves. But cautious, the Reaper is lurking within. This mysterious being looks to be the Purgatory's only protector, and crossing paths with it is no easy task. To meet the Reaper, you must first collect three elusive Reaper gem fragments dispersed throughout the Soul Cairn's perilous environment. Only then may you proceed to the Reaper's lair, which is located on the eastern edge of this realm, to summon this intimidating boss. You'll receive some Black Soul Gems and a Daedra Heart if you defeat the Reaper. There's a secret treasure in the mountains near Falkreath for archers wishing to fast level up their skills. It's called Angie's Camp, and it's the ideal location for developing your archery skills. There are no official quests leading you in this area, but if you climb up the steep hills, you'll come upon a lovely hut and meet Angie, a talented archer. This remote location is ideal for ambitious archers looking to hone their abilities early in the game. Angie's camp offers a series of tests to assess your archery abilities, and if you pass, you'll receive 6 points in the archery skill and Angie's hunting bow. This quest may be completed immediately after leaving Helgen, making it perfect for archery fans looking to gain a head start in the game. Finding giants wandering alone is rare but seeing them mourn the loss of a mammoth is truly extraordinary. A sorrowful giant known as the Mournful Giant lives deep within a secluded region. This enormous creature can be found paying its respects to a fallen mammoth, a touching scene that demonstrates the gentle giant's emotional intelligence. Approaching the Mournful Giant will not elicit a hostile response, despite its enormous size. Instead, it remains passive and mournful, revealing its deep anguish at the loss of its mammoth companion. This moving display of grief demonstrates the complexity and depth of these giants' emotional capacity. Have you ever dreamed of wielding a giant's club to crush your enemies? While it may not be possible for you, your companions can live out this fantasy on your behalf. To make this happen, it is advisable to strip your companion of all their weapons. Once you have a giant club in your vicinity, instruct your companion to grab it. Rather than stashing it away in their inventory, they will wield it as their weapon of choice. Although it won't catapult your foes into the stratosphere, it's still highly entertaining to watch your companions pummel their enemies with a weapon that is twice their size. There's nothing quite like the thrill of turning your enemies to ash with a fiery spell or shout. It's a staple of the game that never gets old. However, there are some small but noteworthy details that Bethesda has included in these spells that often go unnoticed. One such detail is the fact that fire spells can boil water. Try using the flame spell on a nearby water source and watch as the water begins to bubble and steam. It's a small touch that adds a layer of realism to the game. South from the Lady Stone, situated in Lake Ilanalta, a peculiar sight greets those who happen upon it, a wooden mast jutting out from the water's surface. Upon taking a plunge beneath the waves, the remains of a once mighty vessel, known as the Silver Moon, are laid bare to the intrepid explorer. The presence of such a sizable ship within the lake's waters is indeed an anomaly. If you swim inside you'll find a chest with a bit of loot, depending upon the level of the character. Alas, amongst the spoils lies a grim discovery, the lifeless body of the vessel's captain, suspended eerily in the water's depths. Did you know that every major city in Skyrim has an invisible chest that stores the inventory of a specific vendor? If you're looking to loot a merchant's inventory, all you need to do is locate one of these chests. While most of these chests are hidden behind out-of-bounds glitches, there's one that is surprisingly easy to find. 
If you travel to Dawnstar and make your way to Ironbreaker Mine, you can find an invisible chest just beside a small tree and a rock. This chest holds the entire inventory of the Kajiat merchants that often visit the area. Companions in Skyrim can be an exasperating game mechanic, frequently triggering traps and impeding the player's progress. Despite this, companions are not without merit. All humanoid companions in Skyrim possess the capability to unlock any chest within the game world, even those with the most intricate locking mechanisms. If players find themselves weary of fiddling with lockpicks, they may enlist a companion to deftly unlock the chest on their behalf. In the realm of Skyrim, there exists a playstyle that reigns supreme in its uniqueness, crafting malicious spiders and hurling them towards your foes to scorch, freeze, and subjugate them. These exceptional arachnids imbued with elemental prowess were added to the game through the Dragonborn DLC. To produce these spiders, you must venture into the White Ridge Barrow of Solstheim. The subterranean labyrinth is infested with spiders and bandits under a trance. Overcoming this perilous expedition will yield a black book as a reward. However, if you fully explore the depths of the dungeon beforehand, you'll find a crafting hub where you can create your very own spiders. Up to six of these creatures can be active simultaneously, and the station provides the means to produce a diverse array of spider variations that can complement nearly any playstyle. If you're seeking a quirky playstyle to indulge in, these spiders deserve your undivided attention. If you're a fan of Star Wars, you won't want to miss this hidden gem in Skyrim. Venture to Bleak Coast Cave, located just southeast of Winterhold, to discover an Easter egg that pays homage to a famous scene in Star Wars Episode V, The Empire Strikes Back. Here, you'll find the remains of an unfortunate adventurer hanging from the icy ceiling, with a luminous sword resting just beneath him. This is a clear reference to Luke Skywalker's encounter with a Womper on the planet Hoth, where he found himself trapped and suspended from the ceiling. Although Skywalker was able to free himself, this adventurer wasn't as fortunate. Thanks for tuning in and discovering some of the most captivating and hidden secrets of Skyrim. We hope that this video has been both entertaining and informative, and that you are now equipped with the knowledge to uncover even more secrets on your own adventures throughout the land of Skyrim. Don't forget to leave a comment and let us know which secret was your favorite, and feel free to share any other secrets you may have discovered that we missed in this video. If you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe as it really helps us grow. We upload videos like this regularly on the channel. Click that notification bell to stay updated on our latest videos and releases.